Hello everyone. Now let's have a look at the capabilities of an Arduino to control or to send VGA signals. Now this one over here is a VGA monitor. As you see it shows check signal cable, no signal status. That's because this is not connected. Now this is a DB15 connector. Now, over here we have one ground connection. So once we actually connect this ground to uh, any other device's ground, this signal would disappear and uh, you can see that this LED will start blinking which means that this goes into a sleep state. Let's see here. You can see uh, the LED over there blinking. Now it's in a sleep state. Now uh, the other pins as well, once you uh, start giving signals on the other pins, the monitor would actually start working. Okay. Now basically uh, in these 15 pins we have uh, one for the horizontal uh, synchronization, one for the vertical synchronization and uh, one each for red, green and blue for every pixel. Apart from that we have uh, a dull red, dull blue, a dull green to have more resolution among the colors. Now let's forget about the dull colors and have a basic look. Okay. Now we have actually connected uh, this to an uh, Indian O board. Okay. Uh, so we have a ground going from this board, one for vertical synchronization, one for horizontal synchronization and three for red, green and blue connections. Now uh, there is a code running in this board which is actually displaying uh, all the possible colors over here, the red, green, yellow, different shades of blue, violet, white and there is nothing on the other, and the, on the last patch that is black. Okay. Now uh, the minimum possible resolution we could attain is this one, uploading the code. You can see uh, boxes of colors over here. Now this is the minimum possible resolution that we, could, we were able to attain using this board. That's because of a completely different uh, thing. This board runs at speeds of 16 megahertz and this monitor runs at speeds much higher than that. Okay. So uh, we'll have to uh, use larger pixels to be able to control from this board. Okay. Now, uh, so we can see the uh, maximum possible colors are all coming out from the uh, Arduino board. And let's see some other sketch. We actually went ahead and uh, drew a bitmap of Simple Labs logo, or just the name. And uh, here it is. So it was all done uh, pixel by pixel, and uh, this is the last rendering of it. Now, unfortunately, uh, you don't have much of RAM over here, so uh, you can't uh, take and process signals and draw things on the fly. But we were able to squeeze out something, and we were able to uh, draw a sine wave. Let me show that. So here it is. So this is uh, the maximum possible thing that we were able to achieve with this. Uh, most of the uh, quotes and the explanation comes from or is actually referred from uh, Nick Gammon's website. Okay, thanks to him. So that's about it.